and the object is uh, pretty standard. And uh, okay, so that is what we are going to to talk about uh, now. Uh, naming convention is a way to name the things. I say that the first way to document a program is to write, to give the, the to give the variables the, a, an extended name that uh, remind immediately what they are doing. And uh, written in the standard uh, way, we have a, a lot of liberty of free of liberty of freedom of doing things. Uh, but uh, if we follow a convention, we know that uh, that object, for instance, is a method, the other object is a class, and so on. Uh, there are some standard uh, naming conventions you can find, for instance, of that, that things. Uh, any company usually has its so many uh, naming convention, and, but we, uh, seeing as a company, we we are not the, the, the very standard. Say apple. Every uh, if you call your all your uh, uh, variable apple, uh, pear, uh, peach, melon, watermelon, things can be nice to see. But after a while, you want to do and want to know what the, these variables do. So the best way is to use a mini, uh, meaningful way. Don't worry to use lonely. We uh, I. Before I used A and B for the linear equation, but because it, it, it is actually the standard in mathematics to call the linear equation uh, the linear equation parameters A and B, and because it's somewhere else, I provide a way to understand what A and B are. We actually use many formulas, so we don't we are not able to write formula with very long names we use short name in any case. Then we have to try to provide a, a dictionary somewhere for the variables where, that we use for a long name or a command for that variables. But at least not for the variables itself, but for the class name, we please use extended name. Cases. Cases means lowercase. That is a phrase, a phrase which is completely lowercase. Lowercase, the part, the L is all lowercase. Uppercase is all capital letter. And uh, usually, uh, but that is a long thing that go uh, beyond the Java convention, is to uh, call the constant with. Uh, with uh, capital letter. In uh, uh, Java, we have also a modifier which is final that made actually that variable constant. When you see a final, you know that is a constant in the problem. But usually, you can use also this way to see that uh, max hours, first day of the week, which is Monday, actually <coughs> is a constant. Camel case, you have camel case is a, a, the way I, I used to write the uh, classes. First, uh, first letter is capital, camel case, and this is the upper camel case, actually. Two capital classes with the upper camel case. There is also the lower camel case or mixed camel case. For instance, 
business has children is a variable. In this case, the variable with the variable we use the lower current case, meaning we start the variable with the uh, uh, with the letter, the lower case letter, and the, the subsequent uh, name is uppercase. So as children, customer, first name, customer, last name, solve capital letter D equation of solve the equation in our case. Package name conventionally as lower case. So uh, if you work for a company, for instance for the Geoframe company or so, we assume to have geoframe.org, for instance, and your packages can be all about geoframe, dot annotations, for instance. If we have this package is the package that contains our own annotation that we use in, in our program. If you do Giovanna, if you do Giovanna packages, Giovanna packages would be uh, org dot Giovanna dot the name of uh, so your uh, possible uh, website will be Giovanna dot org just one in the world uh, using uh, assuming uh, having a, a, a name which is uh, similar or uh, potentially a, a website means that your variables will have a unique name in the world. In fact, internally, when uh, I, we, I will have a variable inside this one, or, in, or a class inside this one, let's say that the annotation is my, I have a class called my annotation, my class will be my, uh, my annotation dot annotation dot geoframe dot org. And this is, there will be, this unique class that is my, the real class that I use. This seems funny, but it's not so because uh, actually uh, with the way that we, we see to manage packages uh, with Java, we, we manage packages that comes from the network, from the internet. So that will be, uh, we will be gathering uh, libraries from everywhere. Class, uh, upper comment case, interface, upper comment case. Sometimes, uh, to distinguish uh, some programmers, put the I to distinguish the to distinguish the uh, interface. So I river messages can be useful. I don't know. I never use, but. Uh, it depends in, I uh, usually let the interface to be an interface, uh, that's all. Methods, lower comma case or mixed comma case as you know. So this can be a problem where you, I mix all the things. See, string, first name is the name of int order number. Uh, that's a uh, lower comment case. Uh, the variables are very extensive. First name, order number, last name. They have a pretty uh, a significant. The only exceptions in normal programming with short variables is a. Uh, loop variables like i for the internal for loop. So here you see for the first time what, what, how it is a for loop in, uh, in Java. Mm -hmm. That's the way we do a for loop. Here we declare inside, inside the for the, uh, the iterator, which is i, go to 0, to 19, minus the 20, with the increment each of one in uh, each time. And uh, this variable in any case lives only around uh, inside these places, not outside uh, that one. So
So, short variables only in two cases. When they are iterators in four, of, uh, four loops, or when they are part of a formula of which we explain in some clearer way which are the coefficients somewhere else. Okay. Static final, you see the declaration of final, max 8. That's a constant. Let's say by definition, because there is a final. A final modifier established that is a constant. So now we know how to document it and how to put a name. Then you have a lot of space also for your, for varying this convention.